Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our hope. And thanks be to God. Let us give thanks to God, our Creator. It is right to offer thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Raised to your side in honor on high, the ascended Christ shows the prince of love and bestows on us the gifts of grace. As your spirit renews the face of the earth, may we bring forth the fruit of the spirit and reveal your glory in all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we'll have our song. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountiful, bountifully with me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our next reading is from the book of Matthew. A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher, and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become, un become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground unperceived by your father. And even the hairs on your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are more value, of more value than many sparrows. Everyone therefore acknowledges me before others. I also will acknowledge before my father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my father in heaven. The Old Testament reading is from Jonah chapter 1, 17 to chapter 2, verse 10. But the Lord provided a large fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, saying, I call to you, Lord, out of my distress. And he answered me, out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight. How shall I look again upon your holy temple? The waters closed in over me, the deep surrounded me. Weeds were wrapped around my head, at the roots of the mountains. I went down to the land 
whose bars closed upon me forever. Yet you brought up life from the pit, O Lord my God. As my life was ebbing away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you, into your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their true loyalty. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to the fish, and it spewed Jonah out upon the dry land. Our saint for tonight is Carlo Acutis. He was born in London on May 3rd, 1991, to a wealthy Italian family. His parents were not particularly religious. Soon after he was born, the family relocated to Milan. The young Carlo displayed a precocious interest in religious practices. He requested to have his first communion at the age of seven. He made a point before or after services to reflect before the tabernacle, being a frequent communicant and making a weekly confession. He attended school at the Jesuit school in Milan. He was attracted to the town of Assisi, the home of St. Francis. He was considered a computer geek because of his mastery of the computer and the internet. He established a website cataloging the Eucharistic miracles of the Catholic Church, completed in 2005, having started the work in 2002. At the age of 15, Carlo was diagnosed with a particularly virulent form of leukemia and was dead within a week of his diagnosis. He died on the morning of October 12, 2006. His funeral was attended by many of the people he had touched during his short life, people who saw that they were in the presence of holiness. He was buried in Assisi in accordance with his wishes. Carla was named a servant of God in 2013, and later in 2013, Pope Francis declared him venerable. In 2020, Carla was beatified in the Basilica of St. Francis. As he was dying, he said, I offer to the Lord the sufferings that I will have to undergo for the Pope and for the Church. Asked by the doctors if he was in pain, he replied, there are people who suffer much more than me. Our Catholic cousins have a great affinity for relics, and so the body of Carlos Cutis was exhumed and put on display. His body is now in a glass tomb in one of the large churches in Assisi, St. Mary Major. Carlo lies in blue jeans, Nike shoes, and a hoodie, clothing he was most comfortable with in life. He is the patron saint of computer programmers and youth. Shortly before he died, Carlo said, I'm happy to die because I've lived my life without wasting even a minute of it doing things that wouldn't have pleased God. Would that we could all say the same. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. O creator of all, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have blessed us in Christ Jesus 
with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children, through Jesus Christ according to the purposes of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace, which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time. In all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And we'll confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to God, the Holy Spirit, saying, Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, Counselor, touch our lips so that we may proclaim your word. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, power from on high. Make us agents of peace and ministers of wholeness. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, breath of God. Give life to the dry bones of this exiled age and make us a living people holy and free. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, wisdom and truth. Strengthen us in the risks of faith. Come, Holy Spirit, come. O Father, who has given us the ardent testimony of the young blessed Carlo Acutis, who made the Eucharist the core of his life and the strength of his daily commitments so that everyone may love you above all else, let him soon to be counted among the blessed saints of your church. Confirm our faith, nurture our hope, strengthen our charity, in the image of young Carlo, who growing in these virtues, now lives with you. Amen. Just a reminder that being a saint is no guarantee of long life and good health. You remember last week, St. Francis did not live a long life and was very sick at the end. God of boundless grace, you call us to drink freely of the well of life and to share the love of your holy being. May the glory of your love, made known in the victory of Jesus Christ our Savior, transform our lives and the world he lived and died to save. We ask this in the name and for his sake. Amen being made one by the power of the Spirit and gathering our prayers and praises into one. Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. <laughs>